Taking a break, cuties? I was just looking at the sales data, and it seems like you two have quite the talent for business. The potions seem to be flying off the shelves. Oh, Lisa! Perfect timing. We were just talking about how we could use some help around the shop. Oh, are the orders piling up already? Having trouble keeping up? Yep, we're officially swamped. Paimon never thought we'd get this many customers. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the success. I was actually anticipating this kind of response. While you two were busy with the shop, I was talking with Freda about some possible ways to make the business more efficient. After observing your work, I made note of several improvements we can make to the brewing, cultivation, and sales aspects of the business. Wait, so you've been doing things behind the scenes this whole time? Paimon kind of thought you were just slacking off. <laughs> Hey now, I'm actually pretty reliable when it counts. So how are we supposed to put those improvements in action? Well, I discussed things over with Freda, and the two of us came up with a plan. I'll let her give you the details, though. Why don't you go and find her? Paimon, hello! Is there something I can help you with? Well, we've been a bit swamped lately, so Lisa recommended we find some ways to increase our efficiency. Uh, yes, I've discussed that with her as well. Currently, there are three areas you can improve. Brewing, cultivation, and sales. Increasing your efficiency in these areas will make it much easier to run your business. Wow, that sounds just like what we need! Let's give it a try, Traveler! Best of luck with your business! Explosion inside city wall, grounded be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people, gin can be dreadful. Monstat be bombed, Klee be doomed. Those are the survival rules that the Knights of Favonius gave me. Traveler Paimon and Lisa? Sucrose! It's been a while since the last time we saw you! On the way here, I overheard quite a few people talking about alchemical potions. At first, I was worried something might have gone wrong with the herbs. But judging by the way people were talking, it seems like they were pretty pleased with the results. <laughs> Sucrose, your bioalchemical expertise was exactly what we needed for potion making. Yeah, 
We've been able to make potions with all sorts of different effects! You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time? I guess that's expected for someone of your talent, Traveler. I wouldn't be surprised if she became a potion master one day. Still, if you manage to master potion making in such a short amount of time, we should be able to start teaching the public about it as well. Wait, was that also a part of Jean's plan? Yep, it's something she and Mr. Albedo talked about. As I understand it, the goal was not just to create and sell potions, but also to teach the principles and practices of alchemy to the people. Thanks to your shop, the public's understanding of alchemical potions has increased quite a bit. Perhaps, one day, they'll even be able to make simple potions themselves. Hmm... Without the proper training, though, those potions could be dangerous to use. You're right. With Lisa there to mentor you, Traveler, we could rest assured that nothing would go wrong during the potion-making process. However, when it comes to the general public, we have to think of a way to ensure that any resulting potions would be safe to use. So, Mr. Albedo is planning to establish a set of criteria to evaluate various levels of potion-making ability. People will have to pass the exam that corresponds to their level of proficiency before being allowed to brew their own potions. Let me guess, you would like us to also take part in this exam? Yes, although it would probably be more accurate to say that we would like you to help us finalize the contents of the exam. In order to ensure a proper level of difficulty, we need to first collect the relevant data. That's where our mock exam comes in. If you could take it, Traveler, your results would serve as a very important reference for us. You will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. <laughs> what a great idea! I must admit, I'm very interested to see how much my cutie's alchemy skills have improved. Wonderful! Then, let me explain a little bit about how the exam works. The exam has four levels. Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced, and Expert. To pass, all you need to do is brew a potion within the time limit that satisfies the main objective. Satisfying additional objectives will earn you extra rewards. Okay, all of this is starting to sound pretty official. Paimon's nervous all of a sudden. Just do what you normally do and you should be fine. If you don't pass the first time around, you can always retake the exam. So, no need to put too much pressure on yourselves. Oh, retakes are allowed! Whew, that's a relief. Yep, just let me know when you're ready. No problem. I'll be waiting for you here. Ready, we can go ahead and proceed with the beginner exam. are quite practiced, and your potion meets the requirements as well. Congratulations on passing the beginner exam! Hmm, that was a piece of cake! Wow, I really thought it would be more difficult for someone so new to potion making. Alright, I believe I've collected all the necessary feedback. Looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual exam. 
I'm going to head back to the lab now. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. Traveler? Paimon? Huh, looks like you're running a business. Oh, hey, Diona! And Tone Deaf Bard. What brings you to the shop? I could smell what you were brewing from all the way across Cider Lake. Bards have an extremely keen sense of smell, you know. Again with the nonsense! Don't listen to him. We were actually in the middle of looking for some cocktail ingredients. Margaret is getting ready to run a new promotion at the Catsdale, so she asked me to come up with some new drink ideas. The bard over here is performing at the event. When he saw me getting ready to leave, he insisted on tagging along to help. Well, what better way to be the first to try your new concoction than by helping you collect ingredients? Well, that explains your enthusiasm then. You're only that generous when alcohol is involved. Anyway, I was having some trouble coming up with new ideas for ingredients to use. I've already experimented with just about every ingredient you can find around Mondstadt. Even the weirdest ones. The bar saw me struggling and told me he had an idea. So we split up for a while. I didn't get my hopes up. But sure enough, he came back a little while later with a rare ingredient I'd never used before. Ooh, what is it? Some sort of secret? Come on, bring it out so we can see! <laughs> it's a bird feather I found on a ruin in Dragonspine. It was once buried in the snow and is still cold to the touch even now. I'm sure it could be used to produce a drink with an entirely new sort of mouthfeel. Whoa! Well, if anyone can find something like that, Paimon supposes it'd be you. Unfortunately, this ingredient is not easy to find. We'll probably use up the measly amount we've discovered with just the recipe testing alone. Don't worry about the ingredients, Diona. I'll figure something else out. You should head back so you can get a head start on working that mixology magic of yours. Uh-huh, because the sooner I get started, the sooner you get to take advantage of the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Isn't that right? Uh, well, just think of it as a way to pay me in advance for all my hard work. <laughs> that still doesn't solve our problem, though. Traveler, Paimon, do you have any ideas for a new drink? Huh? Infuse drinks with different effects? But doesn't that bring us back to the ingredient problem all over again? Oh, Paimon gets what she's saying! Ahem. You're looking at one of the most popular duos on the Mondstadt alchemy scene right now. Our potions are one of the hottest commodities in Tibet! Ugh, but what do potions have to do with drinks? You can add them as an ingredient, of course. Potions can add all sorts of different effects. For example, with a little alchemy on your side, you could even make a drink that can heal a broken heart. Wow. I never knew potions could do something like that. Hmm, I see. How about a potion that makes people never want to drink alcohol again? Could you make something like that? Oh, that's right. Even if we could make one that discourages people from drinking, it would only last for a little bit before wearing off. Ugh, what a shame. And here I thought I'd finally be able to dismantle the entire Mondstadt wine industry in one fell swoop. It's okay. We'll try to see if we can find some other ways to help. Actually, I've always been curious, Diona. Is there a particular reason you don't like alcohol? Huh. 
Isn't it obvious? Ever been around a drunk person before? Let me tell you, it's not a pleasant experience. Ah, so your gripe isn't really with alcohol itself, but the fact that it makes people drunk. Hmm, this may sound a little weird, but I wonder if it's possible to use this mysterious alchemy craft of yours to make a drink that prevents people from getting intoxicated. So you mean a potion that can keep someone sober and awake? Huh, sounds like something we could do. What do you say, Traveler? I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become. They'll finally have to say bye bye to their days of drunken depravity. It's decided then. Please make me a potion that can keep people sober. I gotta say, I'm starting to get really curious about what that drink's going to taste like. Coming. Finished yet? Wow. I can't believe I'm holding the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! Wowza! Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna head back and start developing my new drinks right away! Wait, don't leave without me. I thought you were going to let me be the taste tester. Of course. <laughs> Operation Eliminate Drunkards has just begun, and you, my friend, are my first test subject. <laughs> and just like that, another problem solved. Looks like you've done it again, Traveler and Paimon. Alcohol that doesn't make you drunk. Ooh. If I'm able to develop something like that, I guess there really is a type of alcohol that I can get behind. making been going lately. Sucrose, you're back! I should have known. You really do have a talent for alchemy. I'm sure this exam will also be a walk in the park for you. Well, ready to begin? All right, no rush. Take as much time as you need. If you're ready, let's go ahead and proceed with the intermediate exam. the requirements. You've passed once again. <laughs> We're getting pretty good at this. I'm so glad I asked for your help. Please, take this for your trouble.
Dodoko? Dodoko, where are you? Hello, everyone. Luke, what someone as busy as you doing in this neck of the woods? Elzer told me the Knights launched a new commercial endeavor that turned out to be quite the hit. I think he was a bit surprised by the level of success, so he told me to come check it out. But seeing as you two are the ones in charge, I'm really not surprised at all. The Knights definitely chose the most reliable people for the job. Of Don Winery, right? Huh, Paimon thought he didn't get out much. Wonder how he heard about our shop. Wait, are we that famous already? <laughs> no need to sound so surprised. The winery keeps us all very busy. Elzer only takes the time to brief me with this sort of intel if he thinks we are faced with a real threat. In such a short amount of time, you've been able to establish complete production and supply lines, and even receive orders from all around Tevat. If you were in the wine business, you'd already be one of our biggest rivals. What? what? Threat? Rival? Oh, you sure seem eager, cutie. Looks like you really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one wine merchant in all of Mondstadt. Are you just itching to see whose business prowess would come out on top? Hmm... A competition with the Traveler. That's not a bad suggestion. You're extremely knowledgeable and well-traveled. If we were to become competitors, I'm sure you'd throw many a challenge my way. Probably even some I've never faced before. But I was really just using the wine industry as an example to emphasize your success. Our two industries aren't exactly fighting for the same market space. Actually, the success of your potion shop is good for the winery's business. Good for your business? Paimon's lost! You were just talking about how the two industries were separate and now they're suddenly connected? <laughs> it's a bit convoluted. Alcohol is a commodity that most people consume in their free time. In order to have free time, though, you have to get off work early. For the alcohol industry to thrive, consumers need to have both the time and the money to spend. That's exactly right. Your potions allow people to work more efficiently. As they get more popular, people will be able to complete their work faster. The more free time people have, the bigger the market there is for a commodity like mine. Oh, that makes sense! It's hard to be in the mood to go out and enjoy life if you're super busy all the time. Paimon never thought about it that way before. There sure are a lot of layers to running a business. Guess this means we're in the more making business together then! Hey, why don't you try out one of our potions? Hmm. I do have quite the interest in the effects of alchemical potions. Well, since you offered, please make a potion that can reduce the anxieties of the user while also improving their attention to detail. Reduce anxiety while also improving the user's attention to detail? That almost sounds a little contradictory to me. I must admit to being curious. If my cuties do manage to make this potion for you, D-Luke, how exactly do you intend to use it? Well, I mentioned before that people with ample free time are an important consumer base for my industry. But actually, the same is true for people who are incredibly busy and overwhelmed with work. After a period of high stress, like a busy workday, it can take a while for people to fully decompress. It's also common for that type of stress to leave people so exhausted that all they can do is spend the rest of the day in a daze. That level of stress and exhaustion makes it hard for people to derive pleasure from things they usually enjoy, like relishing the flavor of their favorite food and drink. <sighs> you can say that again. Paimon's definitely been there before. Sometimes, after a really long day, 
Paimon will be so tired, but she just can't relax. Not even her favorite snacks would hit the spot like they usually do. Oh, my poor little cuties. Sounds like things can get quite tough out on the road. You know what? You just earn yourself some extra snacks at our upcoming tea party. Once this is all over, I'll personally see to it that you get the chance for a proper rest. So basically, you need us to make a potion that decreases tension but increases attention. So that people can enjoy the finer things in life no matter how busy or stressed they are. I uh, did Paimon get that right? Exactly. Wine is meant to be savored. Drinking it without being able to appreciate its subtle notes and characteristics is a loss not just for the winemaker, but for the consumer as well. If we can increase the alertness of those too exhausted to perceive the subtle notes, but decrease the restlessness of those too agitated to raise their glass, then we can be sure to reach a point of balance where all can enjoy their wine to the fullest extent. Well, it's definitely a unique request. Seems like this would be a tricky challenge for any potion maker. We should get to thinking then. First things first, let's figure out what ingredients to use. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? We're finished with the potion, Master D-Luke! Please give it a try! Oh, I thought you might need more time. But it looks like you've already found the solution. Nice job. The effect is even more apparent than I imagined. Your many talents just keep on surprising me. On behalf of Don Winery, I would like to make a bulk purchase order for this potion. Oh, and don't worry about the delivery side of things. Elzer will send someone to pick up the potions once they're ready. My plan is to enlist the help of artisans to infuse candles and fragrances with the effects of this potion. Those products will serve as complimentary gifts for customers to enjoy during wine tasting. So you plan to make alchemical potions part of the wine drinking experience itself? Interesting. And very much in keeping with the Dawn Winery's way of doing business. If our potion was enough to impress Master D. Luke, I'm unsure regular customers are going to be even more amazed! Well, there's still work to be done, so I should probably head out. It'll take some time before we know exactly what the commercial impact of this combination will be. In any case, it's been a pleasure working with you. Here's hoping our two businesses will have a long and successful partnership. I hope those orders will keep on rolling in, for both our sakes. Oh, and if you have some time, you should stop by Angel's Share to see your masterpiece in action. For sure! Paimon can't wait! We'll see you next time, Master D-Luke!